of the world population is going to be over 9 billion people by the year 2050. 9 billion with a B. And so there's just not enough land, not enough natural resources to grow enough food to take care of those people. Space is limited. Uh, hunger is not. And we're bound to determine to make a big difference for the world. I kind of consider what we do here at Hive similar to what they do in the space program. They are exploring brand new things. They're um, preparing people to do new ventures. And so that's what we're doing here. We're preparing the equipment, we're preparing the industry for what's to come. One of the strengths of indoor controlled agricultural farming is that we don't use pesticides, we don't use herbicides, we don't use fungicides, right down the list. I don't use any GMO uh, seeds uh, or genetic, genetically engineered seeds. I don't have to, uh, simply because most of the genetically, genetic engineering that goes on is to address some malady, uh, be it a pest or you know, uh, invasive species or what have you. Uh, we don't have that in our, our rack uh, scenario. So we can use some of the heirloom seeds, uh, some of the really tasty varieties, some of the varieties that were no longer appropriate for outdoors, um, I've been using in here. Vertical farming is just fun. There's so many different aspects of it, so many different things you can do with it. You're using the same building, you're using the same space, you're just using the vertical space that typically is lost. With the way things are now, uh, with the farmlands, the fires, the droughts, the rivers that are they're flooded over, a lot of the crops are getting taken over or they're just not growing. With this, this will actually provide uh, the food, the nutrients, everything to the plant itself, but it's inside a building so it's protected. It's, I would say, more of a supplemental methodology to growing produce uh, in addition to traditional soil-based farming. So. The objective here is not to replace, but rather to complement. You know, you're allowing to bring that food supply chain much closer to home. We can bring local food to anywhere, whether it's the desert of New Mexico or the cold in the winter in Maine or the humidity in Atlanta. All of those things, you can, you can have locally grown food all year round. And so this is a really important development, both for um, eliminating food deserts and then also providing a way for farmers to continually have that production and that type of income all year round. So when they told you that you were coming to Hive today to harvest lettuce, what did you think you were going to be doing? When I think of farming, I think of like this huge outside like farmland that's like acres and acres of land. So coming in here, it's like a totally different experience than what I thought it was going to be. What do you think we could accomplish with this for world hunger? Um, I think that you'll be able to make a lot more food with less space. So then that way more of these facilities could be made and that way more food could be uh, harvested. Vertical farming is really amazing. It's, it's, so, it's almost limitless and the people that it can touch the people that can help. We have a chance to really do something special here. We have a chance to feed the world. This, this can really move the needle, vertical farming.